area. Hey, I holla una. Wait till the rain and a food though. Just apply Guinness Book of Record. I want one. He open up one. Shortly after Idaba si do her own, we can see say dami don't start. And right now with the year say she off gas. And according to the no. we this um Guinness Book of Record, you don't need to off your gas. Your gas must be on. And she say she want run one hundred and twenty hours. Hmm. <laughs> Another person don't see a row again for November. Say he wants to do the same thing. He want Top dummy own. Dummy say 120. He want do 140. Yeah. Why be say with a copy copy? This one do that one do now. Yeah, move move this news. Come on from one side. Not this one I can talk. <laughs> Another thing again, one can chuck inside the story. You know, pass OG Kalu own. He could cry. Ha! He could see man, they cry. In the cry, he, what are in the cry? Say he want come out to, for senator, or he cry say because he go prison, or or he cry say they call and see for me. I don't understand. The guy come they cry. The thing touch me because actually not be everybody be thief. I think get money before I come into politics. People they think saying that politics now make me rich. Now let God then it make me rich. You understand? So the guy come they cry. The thing really touch me. I mean, but. Mona Sisi Ekure Madu on, waiting happen. Eh -eh. With all the money we get and the foundation we get at the end of the day, na prison. And that prison, on, you know, feel deliberate and say, eh, eh, na I will dey prison and the prison go fine. We don't know at the prison before that. By now, the guy don't chop it to the cup pan. Eh, don't they drink soup. <laughs> you don't they chop that strong bread. <laughs> like the teach person lets you know. Okay, that news aside, I want to do a sharp sharp. Then you need someone who get the this man, this one chief Tessie, we carry one chief Tessie type, so we fed a one party. He can't talk to the party, not good though. Say APC and PDP, say they be brother and sister. Say now the same mama, the same man, say PDP, APC. Hmm. Oh, we ma done. <laughs> oh, we <yeah>, ma. <laughs> you see, they bad. Is it a bad? We are bad, me. We are ma. Oh my dear, me. Oh man, no be talk. Is it that's why you rock on Elipio? Is it that's why you rock on Elipio? Ah, wait, mm 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 mm. Away oh, those people, away oh, they are best of the same feather. I say if I know one part, they only split the only parts way different. I be LP. He say don't declare itself to be LP. I will show that the video that aside. Now. Coming to Philly <laughs> with the yes, they don't suspend them. Mm. Then the next week, the yes, they don't suspend carry. Eh, 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 Tinubu, yeah, are you taking us so? Tinubu is taking us on a long journey. <laughs> and they like this ride. So, right now, he suspend them. Tinubu suspend them because he want to investigate. He want to do proper investigation because they can't be there while he's doing the investigation. It's not possible. So first of all, you need to get a suspension so that me if he investigates a uh, CBN governor, a male Feli, and carry. So that if he investigates the NAPC um, chairman and um, the CBN governor. So that's why they give them suspension. And more suspensions are still coming. Yes. More suspensions see they come. Motinubu ready for them. See, he wants to suspend them. But mm, why Tinubu they do this thing? Because when him be governor, he was dancing to their tune. Probably work because Lagos State is a very rich state. Not be not be like some other state. Lagos State is very rich. So he know if he talks, he may know he chop. <laughs> but right now he don't already say he want work. Whether all the past life he want come like say he want compensate Nigeria. I mean Nigeria I love him for waiting they do. These are the things that they could have done many years ago. I mean to us, I don't think um in the do all this one. I mean say buy Nigerians love or, or he just want to do the right thing. I don't we don't know his motive yet. But the court shall tell. Even if you don't reach halfway, Obigo continue. I be not be so. <laughs> now so now, if just they don't judge the case. Who win will continue for a for stop. Abi, Okbari na so. So all this news now one show now bit by bit. Um, so you guys are. I always say that um this channel 
we they talk the story small small the way it affects us and i'll see people that one other video where um um what is it channel yes channel television tv yes is on the screen there the interview with the who the man talks say he say there's something about peter will be he say it's not like because say peter will be is is a is just a presidential candidate. He said there's something about him. He said Peter will be believe in judiciary. He said because the judiciary don't face favor him in the past. He said so the judiciary go see favor him again. He said the man is a lucky man. He said more go here corner which will happen. Oh yeah, that is sir. I want to give you that one. once again. This is BOD TV board where we analyze trends where they happen. I bet go. We could not forget to share this video and we could like and subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye. Mr. President, today is the beginning of new friendship to all of us in the chambers. It's not the end of the old friendship we started. I want to thank my constituency it gives me a lot of latitude to understand Nigeria better, to understand what we stand for better, to fight more for united Nigeria. I believe that we are dispersing, not separating ourselves. I went through one of my best time in life in this Senate, and also went through one of my difficult period. Also, in this Senate, before I came to the Senate, before I came into politics, I can buy anything body can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison, no the reason they put me in prison. They took over all my businesses and want to kill me. But I survived it. I mean, they send it with you people. It's not the end to what we have done. It's not the end to United Nigeria. It's not the end to Brother's Keeper. But this thing that was I called, we are with me. I never laughed. When the PDP that I was governor for two times was being formed, I brought every money they used in forming that party. Every penny in 1997 and 98. And I later became a thief. And people I gave transport money from my house in VI, VI became angels. This is what Nigeria represents. I want to thank my colleagues for giving me these four years of uninterrupted support. Because this country is not fair to so many of us. I built this country, I employed 13,800 workers. People employed not nobody and nobody asked them their source of wealth. I have three factories in Lagos, Nigeria. I have two factories in Ota, build manufacturing. I have three factories in Aba, manufacturing. And I'm a thief. And people that cannot explain where their source of wealth come from, they are not thieves. I leave everything in the hands of God. May God be the judge. There are a lot of emotions attached and invested in the proceedings of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. And predictably, some people have already started to express the view that you know, we might not get justice from the tribunal. What would you say to people who express views like this? What I see on this occasion is that a lot of people who are not familiar with uh, our legal history, with our political history, with our jurisprudence, are making comments and giving opinions on things they are not very sufficiently knowledgeable about. And so the judiciary is set up, uh, the judiciary is portrayed as an institution that can never give justice, which is not the situation even in our 
uh, current situation. Many of the governors in this country, Obi himself inclusive, became governors by the grace of the tribunal. And he will tell you that he has confidence, you know. Mimiko, uh, Oshi Omole, Aregbe Shola, a number of them like that. Okay? So if it could happen for the gubernatorial, why is anybody thinking that it can never happen for the presidential? If the evidence that is produced is sufficient to warrant the tribunal returning a verdict that the election uh, was not properly conducted and therefore the person that has been declared and not been uh, elected by a majority of lawful vote cast in that election. So why do they so think? So I am saying that, you know, when people make a forecast of failure, is either because their preparation was not sufficient or because they knew that they would not, you know, be able to get the success, the thing that they should get or the wish uh, to get. So you have to work hard for it. And look, in the 2007 election petition, the Yarabua petition, at the Court of Appeal, sitting as the tribunal, the presidential tribunal, the election was partially nullified. It was. It was partially nullified. It was when the matter got to the Supreme Court that you then had uh, a situation, you know, uh, like that, in which there was also a dissenting opinion even at the Supreme Court, while Nikitobi and others, and people were shocked that Nikitobi could do that at that time, you know, and all that. It was a split decision, both at the Court of Appeal and in the Supreme Court. That 2007, whatever. So if we got that close, why is anybody thinking that if justice requires that it be done, that the Judex will fear that the heaven will fall on them if they ever do justice. I know it's a tough call because by our precedents, by our authorities, if you are alleging corruption, if you are alleging uh, malpractice in the election, you will have to prove it polling boot by polling boot. That is the standard that has been laid in our jurisprudence. And it is difficult in a presidential context to be proving, you know, uh, corruption, to be proving uh, malpractice, to be proving all that, you know, polling boot by polling boot. It's difficult all over the country. I know it's difficult. If you are to be allowed or given time to do that, maybe you won't be able to get through with that in a year. So it is better to have a clean election so that we don't even have recourse to judiciary. Because we are now getting to a stage when some people are saying that, I won't recognize anybody that is declared until the court says so. The court is not a certification bureau to certify results because it is possible that contestants will accept the results of election, the outcome, without going to court. It's possible. And when people are suggesting that the election should be viewed live, should be televised live, I oppose it even before they started the fireworks at the tribunal. Because I written something about it, in 2007. And I wrote it in the context of what happened there in 2007. The article was titled, should, uh, is it legal to televise uh, uh, election tribunal proceedings? You know, and I said, no. One, the rules of courts are not so provided. Practice direction are not so provided. Three, public hearing is guaranteed by our law, meaning that members of the public can bear. Four, it is covered by journalists who, judicial correspondents who can faithfully and copiously report what transpired in court. So why do you need television camera to place? Now look at the other side. When you do that, in the age of social media, in the age of uh, all the uh, broadcast uh, stations being meshed to the internet, which promote, encourage immediacy 
of feedbacks. Include people writing on the thing as the things being shown live or YouTube or streamlining and all that. This goes on, the judges have their phones, they go home after one day proceedings. Because it's not going to be a one day affair. And they start reading what people are talking about them. They start getting influenced. So you are already interfering in the proceedings of the tribunal. Mind you, there is no sequestration here. In the United States of America, where you have a jury system, jury members are put in one place. They don't have access to television. They don't have access to phone. You know, they are guarded by the judge only. And then they apply the facts. It happened recently with the case of uh, 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 Trump. Okay? So those judges are not uh, secluded. They are not, you know, taken away from society. And so you want them to uh, be entertaining Nigerians on television and for Nigeria to be, you know, just immediately after they are saying that, or as they are saying that, to be reaching them back. You are a fool. You know, is that what you should be saying? And all that. What kind of judges are these and all that? They are human beings. They are feeling. You are already interfering with them, with what they are doing. And so for me, that will not guarantee one inch more transparency, accountability, and integrity of the system. People, I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, you and your team, for the fresh life you are giving to Nigeria. I'm here today with my team because of the hope Peter B. Ahmed, Dati, and Aburi, and NEC and NFC, the national chairman under his leadership the opportunity you give it to Nigerians. I'm here on behalf of Nigerians to say thank you, Labour Party. My history is very known to the country and to the world. I was just 38 when I ran in 2023 for the governorship of Edo. I so 203, yes. Now, 20 years after, I'm not qualified to have the candidate of any party in Edo. We formed the ACD, from ACD we formed ACN. When we were forming ACD, ACN then, Governor Shomale was still trying to leave labor. We worked day and night to create the op opposition today in Edo. I was cheated. And I ran to PDP. I thought I had hope. PDP was like moving from frying pan fire. to fire. So for PDP and APC, they are birds of the same feather. You, they don't really love the ordinary people. What they love is their pocket. Those who love Nigeria is not their friend. But Julius Aburisa, you and Peter B and Ahmed Dati and Nek and others, why well, didn't take you guys serious? I apologize for that. But I must also thank the youth of Nigeria who supported you people. What I failed to see the obedient dirty movement. They saw it. They keyed in. They supported the national chairman, Julius Abure, and his neck. And today, we know who is the president in the minds of Nigerians. We know who we voted for. The world and history is watching the courts. I read law in Ife. Great Ife, great. They are all watching to see what our judicial system will do. Kenya did it. Tiny Kenya. If Kenya did it, we are expecting that the tiny image that is left in our country will be redeemed by the judiciary. 
If that is done, if the judiciary speaks right and true to power, we know Labour Party won the election. So, Mr. Chairman, sir, you're a busy man. I've gone around. I've never seen a party like your party. The party of the Nigerian people, the party of the Nigerian women, the party of the Nigerian students, the party of the weak, the weak, the very weak of the Nigerian society. The party that belongs to the Okada riders, to the farmers, to the tailors, to the organizers. There's only one party that acknowledges the ordinary people, the boys, the girls. That is the Labour Party. That's my Nigeria will not forget, sir, what you and your team have done. You may not know what you have done for humanity. Or we may never know, and that is what they have done. Julius Abure, you may not know, you may never know what you have done. They may call you names, they may threaten you. But have succor, have hope. That we will get to the promised land. Yes, sir. I say we will get to the promised land. Yes, Labour Party will take Nigerians to the promised yes, land. Sir. I can see the promised land. We will all get there. Yes, I say we will get there. Yes, Nigeria will get there. Yes, Don't be scared. It is very, very, very on Nigerian life for me to leave EP to say I'm coming to. Papa, Mama, begin. The reading, the reading is actually Papa, Mama, begin. Even all those guys that are in other parts, the demons, the cacaons, the caterpillars that are there, they know the truth. The Bible says, know the truth and the truth shall. We know the truth. The truth is labor party. Mama, Papa, begin. Waiting past that one. Nothing. Nothing. That's why what I have such chance. 20 years of voyage. Pain. Misery. Deception. Pain. I almost get they almost keep me in the struggle in a ghastly motors. I don't people know the history. Nigerians know the history. God Almighty brought the Labour Party. Sad. Sad. Moment. Thank you. Thank you for what you did. National Secretary, thank you. National Organizer, thank you. Youth Leader, thank you. Sir, thank you. Sir, thank you. We can't thank you enough. But because of want of time, I will tell you in the sentence why am I here. I'm here on behalf of the Edo people. As I speak to you now, in all the worlds in Edo State, we have decided to come and join you, sir. We have decided to come and join the Labour Party to Labour to Victory. Yes, this party is the party that will give the Nigerian people the victory they need. Yes, sir. This party is the party of hope. Yes, sir. The party of poor, rich, middle class. It belongs to everybody. See the way I was received. I have never been received like this in my life. In 20 years of my struggle, some people, some godfathers believe that Nigeria is for them. But this is the red card. The red card is Labour Party. Mama, Papa, begin. Mama, Papa, begin. Led by our Peter Obi, Ahmed Dati, of course, the national chairman, Ebu National Chair, and Nick and his NWC, Julius Abure, the barrister. Sir, I'm here with my wife and my supporters to say we have found the path to honor. Yes, sir. We have found the way to victory. We have found a party that loves the Nigerian people. That would give us hope and succor. That the party that will clothe us, the party that will make us humans, the party that will give us our sense of existence. And that party side is your party, the Labour Party. I'm here to join you. I will be too glad, mommy, daddy, if 
you will receive me. If you will receive me and my supporters across the country, Nigerians are celebrating Labour Party. Labour Party is the party of the Nigerian people. Let no, they may be deceiving themselves. Their conscience is pricking them. You can't take what is not yours. If you do it, you will not have peace. If this are cloth I'm wearing, if it's not my own, if I steal them from you, I wear them. I know they not be my own. Nigerians know the party with them, they would. Now that party, now I mean what they would. You know, hear me? Now that party, I come to. The winning party, the Nigerian people party. So, con con conclusively, sir, I'm very proud to be here. I thank the Almighty that brought me and my wife and my friends and my supporters here. Like I stated earlier in the door today, there's joy on the street of Benin. Across the 192 wars, people are joining the Labour Party as I speak now. Because they know what is happening. We shall see, Mr. Chairman, I'm out, you, I know you are from the state, from my state. With your presence, and people like me and many others that are coming, and those that are joining, we shall see. Who wants to do? God and Labour Party. Who wants to do? The ODTV board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.